YouTube, how the devil are you doing? It's Cool King checking in again. I hope that you are fine and dandy. So today, this is a video that is brought to you by the EDC Co-op. Well, it's brought to you by me, but it's part of a wider group of people called the EDC Co-op Group, of which I am a member, obviously. And who are we? Well, we are a group of like-minded EDC individuals who happen to have a YouTube channel. We discuss behind the scenes and we come up with a title for a video and then we all launch the video at the same time, on the same day, but we don't discuss what we're actually going to include in the video. So we've, nobody knows what we've got in here, but it's really good to see. This time it's five summer EDC essentials. So what works for me may not work for the other people in this group and what works for them may not work for me, but it's fun. I'll link up here to the last time we did this, but without further ado, let's see what I've got. So I will be brutally honest with you, I have cheated slightly with this. I did do in the last couple of occasions that we've done this and uh, my five may appear to be six. And also, um, well actually it could be more than six. And I also, as I've done in the past, I'll try and give two different uh, price variations. So a cheap and a more expensive version. Not for any specific reason, but hopefully the two items may differ quite a lot and it may make you think that you could do with either or find your own in the middle of them two items uh, it's just a, a little way of me playing with it i suppose so the first item it's a cheaty one it's an edc slip what am i talking about well this is an edc slip this is from arc company and i think this is called the grunt maybe or the grunt mini this comes in at 22 or 26 depending which model it is, I can't remember now, uh, but it fits a pen, and this is a Pioneer X with an extra layer in, one of our collab knives, and this is something, sits in my shorts, really nice, I'm not really doing much at the moment, we've got some great weather in the UK, this is something that genuinely is pretty much my daily EDC at the moment, if I wanted to throw a flashlight in my pocket, I can do, so that's my EDC. As I said, might do more options. So the next option, slightly more expensive, uh, is this. And this is a leather slip from Blind Leather. And again, this has EDC items in it. We have a Swiss Army knife, titanium Swiss Army knife. We've got the Aero Crafted Titanium Vector or Contrail pen. And we have a Lynch Access All Areas Pry and a Raylight. Uh, pineapple full EDC yes it's a little bit bigger and a little bit bulkier but it is a bit more sort of streamlined still enough for shorts carry in summer I tend to be wearing shorts or lighter trousers and I'm not wearing big baggy pants so I want something sort of smaller to carry my EDC so cheekily I do have a third one just because I wanted to mention it really this one is from Rickshaw Bagworks. If you've never tried them, have a look at the website. You can sort of design and make your own items. So this is a Multicam Black X-Pack material. I chose a blue label and then bright orange interior that's a microfiber interior, which again, just carries a sack. So if I only want to carry a sack, which sometimes if I'm just nipping to the shop, if you were to go to the beach and you just wanted something in your shorts, then this is something that's nice and it's good for that uh, and I think this is only about $26 maybe cheaper than that I can't quite remember but it's not expensive uh, check them out so a second item cheating if you say it fast enough it sounds like one item but it's actually going to be two ish items hat sunglasses no not sunglasses for your hat it's hat or sunglasses that's the uh, the thing with this one so bear with me Sometimes I like to wear a hat. I'm bald, follically challenged. Covering my head up is good. But sometimes a hat doesn't cut it when you're on sand, for example, and the light's reflecting up into your face as well. The hat just sort of keeps that light under the hat in your face. But if you're wearing sunglasses, it sort of keeps that out. So it could be an either or, or an as well. So I thought it was worth to mention hat sunglasses. I actually have a lot of hats. I had to move a pile of hats from the background of this video so that you weren't looking at them even though you're probably looking at them now they're not there but because uh, I have quite a large collection of hats I like a good hat so I'm going to run through this as quick as I possibly can this hat is a high planet hat I 
a link up here to that. I did a video on it. This is a sort of everyday hat. I just like it. It's nice. It's got a mesh panel there. Um, this would be the more budget version. This, I think, was about £35 in the UK, €35. Euros. I think it's exactly the same price on the, the EU website. I really like it. It's made out of recycled bottles as well, which is good for the planet. Next one up is this one. This is actually uh, a collab one with Accessorize Me, who is also part of the EDC Core Group doing one of these videos. Uh, this is waterproof, breathable, has a nice little fidlock magnet on the back, and it's nice. This was $50 but it sold out. They do do their own, just alpaca gear, do their own hat called the Elements, and it's $40. It's available in black, olive green, drab green type color, gray, and beige stony color. They do offer sometimes, so you can get 10% off if you sign up with your email address, the sales on and stuff like that. Really good hat, do really like this. Um, a bit heavier for summer, but not too heavy. It is really good in summer as well because it is breathable and the last one i'm going to show you today only to sort of show a point i suppose everyone's got hats in cupboards wardrobes drawers whatever so choose your own style and what suits you what you can afford this is an expensive hat this is a canada goose one ironically not planned the only reason i bought this was because i saw it on accessorize me's video a couple of years ago now and i really like the idea of it it's expensive i think it was about 175 please bear with me i bought it for research purposes for things like this it's made by canada goose it's made by a new era actually it's a new era canada goose trucker hat it is comfy it's nice and light and because the back is mesh which you can just about make out there the back of my head gets a bit of ventilation a couple of good things that i like about this hat it comes with a nice little carabiner clip that's sewn into the, the back so you can hang it on your bag on the belt loops on your shorts or something like that so you don't lose it obviously you could just put the buckle around something the same but it's just nice to have that extra touch not probably worth 175 dollars just for that feature but then inside the hat in this part here we have this nice little velcro pouch we can put any edc essentials in there cash something like that again not worth 175 pounds not long after i bought it i did see a few bad reviews that people left saying that it's basically a 30 dollar hat that they've charged 150 175 dollars for i sort of agree with that to some extent and i didn't have any issues with it and then all of a sudden some stitching come apart here and the buckle came out and it was useless until I got my sewing machine out and give it a bit of a sew. I shouldn't have to do that with an expensive hat. So be cautious because just because it's expensive doesn't mean to say it's better. However, it's still one of my favorite hats. So I did say hat and sunglasses. Well, I said hat sunglasses, but I mean hat and sunglasses. So sunglasses, there's something else with this. First off, sunglasses case. I'm from the time when Oakleys were, well, you just had to have Oakleys. If you was anybody, you had a pair of Oakleys and I was lucky enough to have Oakleys and I've still got Oakleys. Now I've just started wearing real glasses uh, and I've got Oakleys as well. So the first thing is something like a cell vault to keep your nice sunglasses protected while they're in your bag. So these are a pair of Oakley sunglasses. They're not anything special, but I do like them. So much so I have two pairs of these. These are called the Oakley Plaintiffs cool yeah i like them they're sort of my style they're not for everybody but like i say i've got two pairs of these so they're slightly different these come in at about 100 pounds 130 dollars various prices depending on what lenses and frames you get they're slightly different a few different options uh, i have these and a pair that are in like a silvery chrome type thing uh, but budget version but i also carry the budget version traveling especially uh, these are made by a company called brio same sort of styling okay cool i paid 12 pounds for these off ebay yes there are cheaper sunglasses out there however be careful when you are buying cheaper sunglasses because you still want them to be uv protective polarizing and what have you these are uv protected um, so i would always pay a little bit more for my cheap sunglasses so that i know they're coming from a reputable company and they're not just like one pound petrol station glasses because they're still going to protect my eyes in some way brio sunglasses check the website out link it down below they do two pairs two for one on quite a few pairs and they were about 24 pounds was the cheapest i saw some for quick look as i said i got these off ebay when i bought these this is the third pair the exact same pair i bought three times one pair i lost one pair i broke and then this is my third pair that i have now had for three years uh, so i'm winning with these 
cheap pair, an expensive pair. Expensive pair if I was abroad going out for the evening, I'd probably have these with me. I can put them in something that's coming soon. Cheaper pair, by the pool, by the beach. If I sit on them, if I lose them, if they get stolen, if they get picked, pocketed out of my bag, I'm not too fussed about them. But my expensive ones are still sort of protected wherever they are. Uh, but that's why I have two pairs. This is like a sacrificial pair, shall we say. But also good for you to check out if you want. Item number three. Bear with me on this, bear with me. Again, probably bear with me on them all. It's a blanket, yes. At EDC, a blanket. Yeah. So this is the Matador pocket blanket. It is hand size, size of your palm. It does fit in your pocket. I've carried it in a pair of cargo pants, shorts, cargo pocket once. It doesn't generally get carried in my pocket, I'll be honest. It gets carried in something else that's coming up shortly, but doesn't get carried in my pocket. But you can carry it in your pocket. Essentially, it's a TPU polyester coated type blanket, would you believe? That's why it's called the pocket blanket. It's perfect for sitting on. Yes, I do use it. It's something that gets used quite a bit. Last weekend, I went to Scotland, two days. It was used three times. Might not warrant the pocket time, bag time, whatever you want to call it, uh, for you, for them sort of uses, but it's always handy to have because it's not just something you can sit on. If I was out in my shorts and t-shirt and British summertime, it can rain at any point. It's just nice to have something. I can throw it over my head if I'm a bit far away from sort of cover. I can put it over and stay reasonably dry, keep the water off. It comes in its own stuff out type thing. It folds up, nice little feature. Another little feature I'm trying to show you here, you can see this, these lines here, they don't actually mean anything with the product but they are a guide to show you where to fold them up so you fold them along them stitching lines which is really good because when you fold this out it's going to be flapping in the wind or whatever and you're going to struggle to fold it up not with this it's quite easy to do another little good thing about this is so in the corners we have these little the for sticking stones in like little recess pocket type things and then also in there you might just be able to see there's a piece of metal that's hidden comes out there that is like a tent stake it's connected by elastic and it hides away in there so you can pin it down. It's just a really handy, well-designed piece of stuff. And in the UK, quick Google search before I did this video, I found it for £25. I also found it for $35. Various places have them for various prices. This is the Pocket Blanket 1. They're up to number three now. It comes in a slightly different pouch, but the premise is the same. I'll put links down below so you can find everything, but uh, just if you wanted to try that. Now, so to offer an alternative for the Pocket Blanket, um, well, I don't condone clones. However, I sort of bought this as a bit of a research item. This is off uh, one of your favorite Chinese websites where you get cheap counterfeit goods from sometimes, uh, AliExpress. It was a little bit cheaper. I think I paid about nine, 10 pounds for this posted. It's a little bit bigger. The material is not quite as good. It doesn't have the stitching that's sewn in there to help you fold it up. I have cocked folding this up quite a few times. It does have similar pockets in the corner here, quite big with st for stones or whatever. This isn't elasticated, this sort of tack here, so I wouldn't trust it with using your own tent stakes maybe in bad wind. Yeah, I mean, it works. We don't condone clones, of course, and we don't condone copies, but I wanted to show you that you might have something yourself that you could use as a, a cheaper alternative, as a little blanket. This definitely isn't going to fit in your pocket. It's not really going to fit well in other items that are coming, so yeah, just buy the Matador one if you were to buy one. Item number four now. Hmm, yes, item number four. Water bottle. It's summer, you need to drink water to stay hydrated and I have a few options for you on your water bottle quest. Nalgene, so quick UK search websites. The cheapest Nalgene I found was £13. I didn't spend a lot of time, you can find them cheaper. This is a glow in the dark Nalgene bottle. I think this retails at about £16 to £18. I bought this one from Cotswold Outdoors for £11 because I used a discount voucher that I had for Cotswold. I think it was in a bit of a sale at the same time too. This is one of my favourite favorite Nalgene bottles. We're going to that one. So that's one option for you. Good old Nalgene. This is the triple art design version of the Nalgene bottle. Same standard 52 mil wide mouth bottle. These come in a little bit more. They're about 25-ish pounds. They do sell out every so often and they get stock elsewhere. Just like it. It's nice. They do make them out of 
50% recycled waste. They're made up from 50% recycled waste. They're made up with 50% recycled plastic bottles. 50% of that is recycled, made from, yeah. Anyway, it's good, good for the planet. Then this bottle offers a little bit more in the fact that it's stainless steel. It's the same size, so it's 500 milliliter, 32 ounce bottle, but it is double walled stainless steel. This is a Prometheus Design Works one, as I say, similar to Nalgene. It's not Nalgene, but they don't offer sort of any thermal properties but this does this comes in a little bit more expensive i think i paid about 40 pounds ish for this direct from prometheus design works when they did one of their launches release type things drops drops that's the word i was looking for drop a while ago so the next water bottle i'm going to show you is something a little bit fancier ish maybe i back this on kickstarter stainless steel memo bottle funny shape quite slim profile bpa free same as the others got an internal thread which is a nice touch on the bottle i like it 55 pounds 55 dollars a bit more expensive it is made out of stainless steel offers zero thermal protection so you can put really cold water in here and it won't stay really cold for hours on end maybe just half an hour an hour i don't know and hot water you can put boiling water in it but it's not going to stay boiling so yeah, you're just paying for uh, a nice stainless steel bottle, but they do do the bit for the planet as well. It's still a reusable bottle that you're not using cheap plastic bottles that you just throw away. And one thing about this is they're sort of designed to fit in pouches in rucksacks. So if you've got a, a tech rucksack type thing, this will fit in an A6 size notebook pocket within that bag so it is a really good design if you just want to have a little bit of water with you something that i've got coming up just handy to have that bottle and it's nice it's, it's just nice the last water bottle that i'm going to show you is a budget version something that i do like and i do use this is called the stow from hydropack made out of plastic sort of silicone stuff you can see it rolls up quite a nice little thing this is a litre bottle this they do it in a 500 milliliter as well and obviously it rolls up reusable this is something that i would have in my carry-on bag when you've been searched and gone through passport control and everything and you go out onto the side you can fill your bottle up in a water fountain and you've got a free bottle of water you're not buying a throwaway plastic bottle you are carrying your own i had this in italy with me but i've had it for a couple of years now but i had it in italy last year and i was drinking lukewarm water out of this in when i'd fill it up with water so it has its use but obviously be mindful that it's going to offer no thermal protection at all it's really handy to have did say stay with me didn't i yeah this one's a bit of an odd one i try to be odd to try and make you think about things differently about your own edc and show you stuff that i do genuinely carry uh, so number five is cologne yeah yeah so i'll rush through this because i know some people may not be uh, too keen on this but uh this is a solid cologne from a company called Fulton and Rope, and this comes in at sixty dollars. Yes, sixty six zero dollars. It slides open with a little magnet. You rub your finger on there, dab it behind your ears, and you've got some solid cologne attached to your body. This one smells quite nice. It is really good. The thing that I don't like about this is it's sixty dollars in this nice magnetic, lovely case, and then you can buy refills for it, which is really good. The refill's $55, so I'd just pay the extra five and get a new case. Just seems a bit, the company could do their own little thing to make people buy refills by doing them cheaper and doing the bit for the planet. But no, but anyway, it smells nice, handy to have. To offer an alternative to that, uh, I do have another solid cologne. You can buy cheaper ones of these, but I don't have a cheaper version. So this one is from Misk Goods and it is a collaboration with Pete's Pirate Wife that it did um, a while ago now and it comes with a nice little smelly, different than that one, that's quite light and summery. This one I would say is a uh, floral but wintry to me, um, like a fine Chardonnay. No, um, I like this, this is about $75 I think these are from Miss Goods. I don't think you can get the Pete's Pirate Life one at the moment. Pete's Pirate Life has obviously opened his own shop. These may be available in the shop. I don't know. The refill for this, $23. So I like that because it's a nice piece of wood. It's got a nice logo on it. It smells good and the refills are cheap. I'm more inclined to buy a Miss Goods refill than I am a Fulton and Rogue. I've not finished with cologne. I've finished with solid cologne, but I also have these. These are called Stubbies, Nitro Stubbies, I think, from a company called Musk and Hustle. 
and this one is called a nitro musk it's a larger bottle these are two milliliters i think uh, this is nine or ten milliliters uh, so it's an oil roll on type little aftershave if you have your own favorite aftershave there'll be one of these that matches your favorite aftershave do genuinely like these these perfect for my little uh, carry on bag i take these away with me quite a lot really uh, unfortunately this one is now empty and i am in the market for buying a new one this one uh, it was I think it was Boss Orange. I've had that for quite some time now, and it smells lovely. And the smell does last longer than the Eau de Toilette type aftershave. So I do like these. I'll put a link down below. Check them out. Oh, the stubbies actually. These you can buy six in a set for about thirty dollars. These come in a bit more. The about seventy-five dollars. They don't come with a leather sheath. That was an extra item that I bought quite some time ago now, just because I liked it. But yeah, the last. Um, cologne item is this it's just a nice little titanium type thing that has a small atomizer bottle inside it and inside the atomizer bottle is Tom Ford Oud Wood aftershave which is my favorite aftershave and it's just which is running out actually and I'm gonna buy an oil I think in that instead I digress but it's just nice to have really a spray but this actually if you've seen my little video on this the Prometheus Design Works little caddy pouch that lives in here that lives in my bag so I always have that with me so yeah gets carried so that is my five item oh I did say I cheated a bit so number six I do have a bonus item a number six. Oh, bonus round sorry so number six a sling bag now, I'm going to contradict myself slightly. I'm not massively into sling bags. I just happen to have quite a lot of them. <laughs> I do use them. They come in really handy. Travelling, out for the day, anything like that. They are really handy to have. The first one that I'll show you, I've got videos for it as well up here. I'll link to. This is a High and Planet one. It's made out of recycled plastic bottles as well. It's got a nice little hyperlong loop. I put my own carabiner on there. So in the evening, I can clip a hat on there. If I wanted to take my hat off, I can clip my hat on there and not wear a hat. It has a nice little zip pocket at the front there, which is perfect for sunglasses. So I can have the sunglasses and my hat with me. And inside, it's got a nice little bit of organisation. And it has two little plastic pockets there, which, yeah, solid cologne, fits straight in there like it's made for it. This comes in about £60-ish, £65. This is the smaller version. They do an XL version as well. It's a little bit more expensive as well, obviously. But um, nice little sling bag. Next sling bag uh, is this one. I bought this second hand. It's an Air One and it's about £150 sling. Paid about 45 quid for it off eBay. Next one is this. This is the Cold of Belt X-Pod. This is a massive beast of a thing. Nalgene bottle swallows it right up. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. It's got loads of organizations, pockets, even pockets for your solid cologne or your AirPods that fit in there as well. Uh, this was about 150, it's in Multicam Black X-Pack material. This was a limited edition one. You can buy it just in black, the version two, and it is still $150. And then lastly that I'm gonna show you, Matador Packable Hip Pack. Yeah, Packable Hip Pack. It's just a folding bum bag, essentially. Anything that you can use to stash stuff in, you can put most of this and save your pockets, really. I do have a couple of other sling bags, as I say. I don't like them, but I have quite a few of them. Um, such is life. So that is it. That is my five, six items that I wanted to sort of share and help you maybe think about things slightly differently, just to expand what your EDC is maybe, possibly help you out with different ideas for things that you should carry, maybe try to carry, see if it works for you. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. That'll be down there as well somewhere. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye. <music>